Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Janome HD 1000. In this video, I'm going to show you the accessories that come with your machine. So to start with, you have your foot control and power cord connected in one plug that goes in one place in your machine. Then over here we have the instruction book. It happens to be in three languages, but if English is your language, it's got it right there. And it explains a lot of what's, uh, how to use the machine. So this is really a helpful guide to have. Then over here we have the various accessories that come with your machine. To start with, you have your A foot already on your machine. Now there's a quick release lever back there. That's your a standard all-purpose foot right there. And this is how you put it on. You just put it on under there, lower your presser foot, and it snaps right on. So all of these feet here come with your machine and they have that little bar there that you can quickly change from one foot to another. It's a really convenient way to change the feet. Now this foot here is your fancy stitch foot. It has a little groove at the back. Your regular foot is flat, but this one has that groove so that if you're doing something like this, an applique stitch where it's putting a lot of thread into your fabric, that can flow right on through. So that's what that's for. Also, some of your decorative stitches have a little more thickness of thread that they're putting more thread into your fabric. Then we have the rolled hem foot. Now the rolled hem foot is for making a finely rolled hem like this. And it shows you in your book how to do that, but that's how it curls the edge of the fabric so that you don't have to pre-iron it, it just, sews it right neatly where it needs to be. Okay, and then for blind hemming, now a blind hem, this is the accessory you need for that. A blind hem looks like this, where you can hardly see the stitches at all on the outside. Um, to put this little piece on, you need to first lower your presser foot, take your screwdriver, loosen this a little bit, that's what holds the foot holder on, and then Put this right down in here so that these two tines right here go right between the toes of the presser foot. And you just use your regular presser foot when you do that. Tighten that up like that. Put that on like that. And, it's, and that produces a guide so that when you are sewing your blind hem, you've got something to guide the edge of your fabric here. And then you have your nice blind hem. Okay, and then this is your zipper foot. Now the zipper foot attaches only in one place, but you can have your, sew your zipper teeth really close to the teeth. That's why it's shaped this way with nothing on the other side. Also, this is good for that um, fine piping. You can run your piping right along there and stitch right close to the edge of the piping. So this is a good uh, multi-purpose foot. Then we have two screwdrivers depending on what part of the machine you're working on. Most of the time you're gonna be using the larger screwdriver. We have a oiler for, with uh, machine oil for certain parts of the machine and it tells you in your uh, book what parts you need to oil. Then, this is the seam ripper. Now, seam ripper is a wonderful thing to have, like if you uh, make, have stitches that you wanna unstitch, you would use it this way. I like putting the cap on the end of the a uh, seam ripper when I'm using it because it makes it something I can hold on to. Plus, when I lay it down, those little lugs there keep it from rolling away. Really nice design. And then there are some extra bobbins that come with your machine. Now these are the cl plastic class 15 bobbins, which is the only kind you want to use in your machine. Uh, you don't want to use metal ones or ones that are shorter or wider or rounder or anything like that. You want to use these kind of, of bobbins. So they give you uh, four bobbins there. Then you have your extra needles. Now, the needles are colored depending on the uh, manufacturer. This color of needle on this package that comes with your Janome machine, that blue means it's for fine fabrics. Uh, it's a kind of a finer needle. Okay, and when you buy new needles, make sure you buy good quality needles like Schmetz or Classe. Those are good quality needles. Now these little guys are felt, which go on your spool pins. The idea of that is when you stop sewing, 
your spool of thread might continue to spin a little bit, which would cause a little bit of extra pulling of thread. So that's why you have the spool cap that you'd put on your uh, spool pin. Now, why are there two spool pins? There's two of these. It's so if you wanted to do twin needle sewing, which you can do with any of these stitches, you just need to make sure your stitch width isn't too wide. Uh, a twin needle looks like this, and you might even want to get a narrower one. Actually, uh, I should back up and say you probably only want to do straight stitch on this one, but you can do twin needle sewing with this machine. Really nice feature. Okay, so that is the, uh, that's the accessories that come with your Janome HD 1000. I hope you found this to be a helpful video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines here on our Montevilla YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.